after the MATLAB actually, uh, MATLAB is just implementation uh, of a algorithm. Other part that I want to emphasize that is actually uh, these days interdisciplinary nature of the uh, research. Uh, that when you implement, implementation is fine, but uh, uh, like uh, uh, like old time we used to have classical areas like electrical engineering were separate, mechanical engineering were separate, computer science were separate. And these days they are mixing to each other. So uh, I will give you one example, uh, like uh, for example, when you go to uh, uh, Treta Yog, in Treta Yog there was uh, like a, a good, good people used to stay nearby Ayodhya and bad people used to stay nearby Lanka. And there was clear cut separation between good people and bad people uh, by sea. So uh, there was clear cut separation between good people and bad people. When we came to Dwapur Yog, then these good people and bad people become part of uh, one family. So like Korvas were set off, uh, they were the uh, rotation of bad people and Pandwas were uh, a representation of good people. And they were part of one family. When we come in the Kalyuga, then it has come in one person. So sometimes he's good, sometimes he's bad. And same thing is actually appearing in the technology, in the research. Uh, for example, if you see car, Sometimes it looks like mechanical system, sometimes it looks like electrical systems, a lot of computation is there, a lot of intelligent systems are there, a lot of uh, uh, programming is there. So it, it appears uh, uh, like the ma many people say this is uh, uh, artificial intelligence applications. So like uh, uh, many uh, engineering and technology areas we can see in the car itself. So uh, these days it is not clear whether like it is uh, uh, electrical, mechanical, computer. So one should not limit our uh, knowledge. It's just only for MATLAB. Uh, the person should also uh, explore his knowledge over various directions, various skills, uh, like uh, electrical engineering, artificial intelligence, signal processing, uh, machine learning, nanotechnology, uh, material science. So in that way only actually the uh, complete uh, work can be done. So I will give you one example, uh, like recently, uh, this US university, they have come up with a snake robot. So this snake robot uh, requires the knowledge of snake, knowledge of robot, knowledge of navigation, knowledge of speech signal processing, knowledge of image processing, knowledge of uh, uh, this database management, knowledge of uh, video technology. So a lot of actually uh, knowledge is required. So we should also explore uh, our uh, knowledge in other directions also, uh, uh, together with MATLAB. And uh, this is actually, uh, this is not only uh, uh, in the present scenario, but old time also people used to be interdisciplinary, like uh, Fourier, Fourier is well known for Fourier transform. But he also developed greenhouse effect. So like similarly, uh, uh, like Newton, uh, Newton is uh, well known for a uh, lot of theories in mathematics, uh, mechanics, uh, even physics, astrophysics. So uh, various places actually people used to work in old time. And again, that time has come. So like uh, uh, now these days actually uh, what people are uh, thinking that uh, this health is a such area We are all uh, taking this COVID-19 situation. Now everybody is working on the COVID-19 or everybody is working for Corona crisis. So actually uh, that's uh, like uh, uh, what uh, these, if you want to work on like health, like these days for like for COVID-19 crisis, then you should have knowledge of various disciplines. So that actually uh, these days uh, uh, in order to solve some problem, it requires the knowledge of various uh, skills, uh, various uh, uh, branches. So it is different than the old time. So uh, uh, what I want to emphasize actually this uh, uh, MATLAB is fine, but together with this MATLAB, uh, we should also focus on learning various uh, skills, uh, various uh, engineering disciplines. Even sometimes actually, suppose you are from engineering, uh, you should learn biology. And biology people should learn engineering. So then only uh, by with that some interdisciplinary research uh, can be done. So when we when we do research, and then actually some boundaries when the two areas merge, uh, some research can be done. So uh, I'm sure this uh, uh, this uh, sort of training program, uh, it is even it is short term, but uh, it will have uh, advantages in long term. And uh, you you can use this programming skill that you have learned. You have very good experts. 
and you have uh, they have taught you the basics of MATLAB. Now it is easy to implement, but now you can develop some new new methods. You can implement them, and you can work on the research papers. So in that way, I think it will be uh, suitable uh, for your uh, uh, career also. And uh, with this, uh, uh, I'm sure that it will be very useful. Uh, or uh, you have learned many concepts, many basics, many applications of MATLAB. Uh, with this, I would like to uh, congratulate all of you uh, for this uh, successful completion of this training program. And I wish all of you a very good luck for your bright future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.